Hey guys, in this video I'm going to run through two months of expenses while living in Merida. While in Merida, I tracked just about every transaction I did because I paid mostly via credit card and a couple of things via cash. But I kept an Excel spreadsheet of every single item, including my foreign exchange fees. Note that I am Barbadian, so my credit cards are from Barbados. So to give you an idea, Barbados dollars and US, um, one US is two Barbados dollars. However, this entire video, I'll be quoting to you in USD. So keep in mind that my bank fees are definitely going to be different to your bank fees. Let's begin. Let's start in October since I arrived in Merida on September 26th and officially started tracking from October 1st. We we'll start with accommodation. I stayed at Airbnb for the month of October and the month of November. But for the month of October, I spent 600 USD, which I think they gave me a 70% discount on my stay there because of COVID. Note that it was a pretty spacious studio and I did not have a washer or dryer. So I did use a laundromat, which was like two doors down. So I just walked there with my laundry. That wouldn't be a specific item in my expenses without be categorized in other. And I only went there like two or three times and then do it per pound. And I think mine didn't pass the minimum amount of pounds, which is like three or four pounds. So I only ended up paying $2.50 per load. So now if I'm lucky, I pay $10 for the full month of October, which I doubt I did. I think I only went there like twice. And they wash them, dry them, fold them, and put them in a bag. So when I unpackaged them back at home, I just placed them into my wardrobe. For transportation, I use DD and Uber, and I paid a total of $145.25 for 50 trips. And those aren't even all because some Mexican friends and others would have paid for a trip or dropped me some places. I didn't even realize I did 50 trips. So that's a lot of trips. I guess it's two for every event. Makes sense, right? So that means I went to at least 25 times. For food delivery, I used Uber Eats and DD Food. And I think I used like one called Fit Array just for a vegetarian food delivery service, which is pretty affordable. I think it was five USD or six USD for that day. But in total for the food delivery, I paid $142.58. And that was for... 18 meals. I 18 meals. Wow. I mentioned in my previous video, I don't know how to cook. Didn't know how to cook when I arrived in Merida. So I ordered food a lot, especially every day for the like two, three weeks straight. Next are groceries. I again, I didn't know how to cook, but I still went to the supermarket to buy some essential stuff. I love how affordable Merida is because I can afford to eat my fruits and vegetables as I feel, especially fruits. So I could buy different fruits every week, like oranges, guavas, strawberries, peaches. As uh, so for groceries for the month of October, I took three trips to the supermarket and I spent $206.52. Before I get into the two pricey ones, just to be entertainment and other, I will slide over into foreign exchange fees, which, which came to a total of $18.15. To explain that, for every time I swipe my card, I get a foreign exchange fee for every purchase. And literally, it was just $0.02, cents, $0.05, cents, $0.06, cents, $0.18, cents, a dollar something cents. So I spent like a lot of money, but all those fees added up to $18.15. Apparently on 78 transactions to be specific. I did do a couple transactions in cash, so that wouldn't be categorized here, but you get my point. For phone plans, I spent $22.50. I say phone plans because phone plans are very affordable in Merida. So this $22.50 is inclusive of three phone plans because I went to one telecommunications company that gave me hell. I bought the first plan and then they told me it ran out within a week. So then I bought another one and then told me that ran out in a couple days. So then I switched to another company and then I stuck with them for the entirety of that month into November. So again, this $22.50 is inclusive of three separate plans. Now for entertainment. For entertainment, I spent a total of $278.53. And that is inclusive of going to a minimum of 10 bars and restaurants, eating and drinking. I'm not a heavy alcoholic beverage consumer. I only have like one or two drinks when I go out. Again, people usually buy like buckets of beer. So sometimes we end up just splitting the cost. But that entertainment number also includes any tourist sites I visited and anything I did for fun, basically. Like an Airbnb experience. I did one Airbnb experience. I think that one was $20. The next line item is other, which includes everything else like Amazon, spa, clothing. So this other category of the $422.15 is inclusive of $200 of Airbnbs because I also booked Airbnbs for like a couple nights here and there, other places. So really and truly for that other, I only spent $222.15 to be honest. But yeah, all of that adds up to $1,835.45 for my month 
in October. Fluent, spend that amount, good month had. Parties, outings, meeting tons of people, safe accommodation, totally affordable. Let's hop over into November. So for November, a cousin visited me for a week. So this would have been our outings as well as our rental car and other activities we did. So this one is going to be higher. We'll start off with accommodation. I spent 550 USD in the month of November. Again, another Airbnb. This one was a shared room in a large house, still accommodation. For transportation, again, this includes Uber and DD rides and the other ride sharing app in driver. And this came to a total of $216.35 for 45 trips. I don't know how I did less trips this time around than last in the previous month. Did I have more friends? Food delivery dropped because I learned to cook. Um, so that's number is $25.26 for three food delivery meals. For groceries, I spent $353 for a total of 10 trips to the supermarket, a full month's worth of buying healthy food, vegetables, and fruits. Again, I'll hop over to the foreign exchange fees which this time is $32.85 for 103 transactions. And then for the form plans, $17.50. And you're wondering, but well, the last one was $22.50 for three. Why is, why is it now $17.50 and it's just one? Well, this one is inclusive of two. $7.50 is my plan for the month. And when my cousin visited, I gave her my extra SIM card from the previous company. And she used that and she topped that up for $10. And both lasted a month. A good month because now I'm here in Canada. And their plans are inclusive of Canada. So when I flew in with a layover in America, I had data all throughout. So Mexican phone plans are pretty good. Now for entertainment in the month of November, I spent $344.34. Going to a minimum of 20 bars and restaurants. And this is a bit higher because this would be inclusive again of my cousin visiting. And again, we did have some people buy us drinks and carry us pay for some of our trips. So be mindful of that as well. And then for other, which includes the rental car and gas and again, Amazon shopping and whatever other little knickknacks I bought or clothing pieces. And that came to a total of $426.10. To give an idea of the rental car, I think the rental car company we found for a compact car or sedan was 40 US a day for rental. And the gas came up to 30 US. We only had the car for two days. And again, we split those fees amongst everyone in the car. So there were five of us, so eventually, so actually these numbers should be a lot smaller, but I'm just including everything I paid, um, excluding the deductions that persons would have paid me back after the month. Oh, that other also includes my flight out of Merida. American Airlines flight as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A hundred, a little over a hundred US for my flight. And that brings us to a total of $1,965.41 for my month in November. Both months are under 2000 and I live my best life. And I hope that helps you make your decision on whether you want to move or even visit Merida. If you enjoyed this video or found this video helpful, leave it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, please leave it a thumbs down. And don't forget to tap that subscribe button with the little bell so you'll be notified every time I post a new video as this is vital information for you to live your best life. Deuces.